What's up, everybody? I want to talk about this story that pissed me the fuck off, man. I just have to make a video about it. You know, I just woke up and, you know, I've, I've been following this story. Check out the link at the bottom. Got up this morning just to read what was going on. And, uh, man, pretty fucked up. All right, this happens only in white suburban America. In most white suburban American neighborhoods. Fucking, an Indian man, what was his name, Patel? I, I forgot. An Indian man from India, new to this country, visiting his son in Madison, Alabama. <laughs> oh yeah, you already know where this is going when I, when I mentioned the Madison, Alabama. KKK cops, uh, Dan, uh, that, that's, a, that, that's a fucking safe haven for KKK. Indian man was walking down the street, I think he was lost, an, an older Indian dude. He was new to this country. He's only been in the country for a couple days or something, a couple weeks. He got lost. He was stro taking a stroll through, through this white neighborhood. Some fucking idiot, all right? Some fucking moron called the cops saying that some suspicious black man was walking around looking into houses and garages, all right? Two cops arrive at the scene. The Indian man is trying to explain to the cop, like, yo, you know, I, I don't speak English, you know, like, I, I, you know, obviously the guy doesn't know, you know, uh, how to deal with American police, you know, he's trying to explain himself, all right? Next thing you know, you watch the full video, uh, the, the fucking racist KKK cop, now I don't have proof that the... That shows he's a member of the KKK, but just looking at this scumbag, at this cop, he looks like a racist prick anyway, so I have that right to say that. Right, this racist KKK cop takes the poor Indian man, slams him to the ground hard as hell, and uh, damages his spine. He had to go to the hospital, he, he has to go through physical therapy, uh, you know, because his back, he, he got pa partially paralyzed. It was all captured on video, thankfully, because if it, if it was not captured on video... All right, we, we, we wouldn't have known about this uh, story. It wouldn't have received the the the, the spotlight as it, as it's receiving now on on the news, which is good because it's exposing these pieces of shit in Madison, Alabama. You know it. It pisses me off that you got these young cops in their twenties. Yeah, I mean, you think you're a tough guy because you slam 60, 70 year old men on the sidewalk. Oh, I thought he had a gun. I thought, like, dude, like, what the fuck? What's going on with these cops? You know, this cop, he got arrested. All right, he's being charged with, uh, I think, third degree assault or something. He got fired, which is great. And I hope the next time I hear about this officer, all right, he's working at McDonald's or Burger King flipping burgers. If I ever travel to Madison, Alabama, I hope the next time I see that cop, he's going to be serving me my fucking french fries. Hold the fucking salt. How about that? Uh, yeah, the family is suing. Right, and I hope they get every penny from this department. I just hope... It, it, good. That's all I got to say. Let me know what you think. Peace out, all right? Just, what do you think of this fucking story? Fuck this Madison, Alabama cop. Yeah, just look at his face. <laughs> he, he, he looks like a fucking racist cockhead. Just, just look at him. He has that smug look on his face that you want to fucking smack. Fucking stupid ass. Stupid, bro. Stupid. And the chief of police, you know, you should be held responsible for this too. You're the captain of this ship. You're the one steering this ship, uh, chief of police of Madison. And this is the kind of people you have on your team? How about we fire the chief of police as well? <laughs> Later. <laughs>